MacBooks are packed with features, but let's be honest, the real magic happens when you master the keyboard shortcuts. So whether you're looking to boost productivity or just navigate faster, knowing the right shortcuts can completely transform how you use your MacBook. In today's video, I'm sharing 20 essential keyboard shortcuts that every MacBook user should know. From saving time on everyday tasks to unlocking hidden features, I've got you covered. So let's kick off with some system shortcuts which are going to make navigating your MacBook a whole lot easier and save you loads of time. First up is Spotlight Search, which is one of my favorite Mac functions, and you can access it by pressing Command Space. This brings up the Spotlight Search function, which can help you find items on your Mac like apps and files, or with Siri suggestions, you can use it as a search function to get news, sport, stock prices, weather, and loads more. Now, if you have multiple apps open at the same time, it can take a while to switch between them. So instead, you can try pressing Command and Tab, and this will let you switch between apps really easily. But what if you have multiple windows open of the same app? For example, multiple Safari browsing windows. Well, to switch between these, you can just press Command and Tilde, and this will cycle through the open windows of that one app. Now, minimizing windows into the dock is a great way to get them out of the way without closing down the app but pressing on that small yellow circle in the top left can take time. So instead, just press Command and M, and that will minimize your active window. If you want to go a step further and hide all windows except the window you have active, try pressing Command, Option, and H. You can see that all my other windows get hidden, allowing me to just focus on the one I'm working on. On the flip side, if you want to maximize a window, but don't like losing your menu bar in the full screen view, you can press Function, Control, F and this quickly snaps your active window to the full height and width of your screen. As you can see, my small window now takes on my whole screen, making it a lot easier to use. A little known fact is that if you just press the red X button in the top left, that doesn't actually close down your app, and it just stays running in the background, taking up space and slowing down your MacBook. Instead, when you want to close an application, press Command and Q to force quit it, so that it actually closes properly and helps your MacBook run at full speed. The last three system shortcuts offer screenshots. To take a screenshot, you can press Command, Shift, and 3 to capture your entire screen. If you want to just capture a specific part of your screen, you can press Command, Shift, and 4, which then lets you drag the portion of your screen that you want to take a screenshot of. If you want even more control or want to record your screen instead, you can press Command, Shift, and 5, and this brings up the screenshot menu bar. From here, you can choose to capture your entire screen, the selected window, or a portion of your screen, or choose to record your entire screen or a portion of your screen instead. Now, the second half of this video covers browser shortcuts, but before we get onto those, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Akko, who sent me their Monsgeek M1 V5 VIA custom mechanical keyboard, which sounds like this. I mean, that's like tech white noise. So this keyboard is great for beginners looking for their first mechanical keyboard. The outer shell is made of aluminium, its design lets you quickly disassemble the keyboard without any screws or tools, and the keys themselves are really easy to change using the keycap puller included in the box. It's RGB backlit with over 15 preset backlighting modes, so you can see I've got this red contact preset on which flashes every time I type, but there are also more colourful options like this rainbow mode. You can also customise lighting effects with a VIA configuration to adjust colours, brightness and speed. It's got a built-in battery so you can use the keyboard wirelessly for 86 hours with RGB or 500 hours without it, and it charges out the back using a USB-C cable. The programmable knob lets you customise the keyboard even more, and lets you control things like volume, brightness and other functions, and the whole thing feels really high quality. It is quite heavy due to the aluminium case, so it's not going to be a keyboard you can take with you while traveling, but that's not too much of an issue for me as I generally only use an external keyboard while sat at my desk. As a beginner myself, I think this is a great option if you're looking for a high quality, buttery sounding, customizable mechanical keyboard. You can check it out using the link in the description below. Now onto those browser shortcuts. To open a tab, just press Command and T, and to close a tab, it's Command and W. Then, instead of using your mouse to click on your various tabs, you can just cycle through your open tabs using Option and Tab, so you can see it starts to switch to the next tab every time I press Tab. In addition to that, I find it really useful to be able to pick which tab to open. So let's say I want to open the fifth tab in my browser. I can press Command and 5 and it will jump to that tab. Similarly, if I want to go to my third tab, I can just press Command and 3. 
Sometimes when you're doing research, you want to open a few new links at the same time. And you can do this by holding the command button when clicking on a link. You can see that by holding command, every time I click a link, it opens in a new tab, making it really easy for me to open multiple web pages at the same time. I mentioned earlier about how to switch between windows, but to actually open a new browser window, you can press command and N. Then while you're browsing, you often need to go back to the previous web page or forward to the next one, but the time it takes to keep pressing the back and forward button starts to add up. So instead, you can press command and left arrow or the right arrow to go back and forward a web page. Also to make navigating the browser toolbar even easier, instead of having to click into the URL bar to enter a new website, you can just press command and L and it will highlight the URL ready for you to start editing. That's a shortcut I actually learned quite recently, but it's definitely one of the more useful time-saving ones. Then the last two shortcuts are for zooming in and out of a web page. To zoom in, you can press command and plus, and to zoom out, it's command and minus. But sometimes you might want to revert to the default view, and to do that, you can simply press command and zero, and the web page will reset to its original zoom level. And that wraps up the 20 essential keyboard shortcuts that every MacBook user should know. I hope you found that useful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If there are any keyboard shortcuts I missed that you use quite often, let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.